Hello everyone. So I'm finally going to try to do the mileage tests for the with the smart car. And I was thinking after the first time I actually tried the, the track that I'm going to do today, the results were actually so much better than I had with a carb that I thought maybe a carb bike with a smart carb is not competing directly with the bike with a regular carb, but with a TPI bike. Because the mileage will be better, like it, it will have to be. But the thing will be how much better. And so I thought, okay, let's do the same track with uh, my bike, 300 Beta 2020 with a smart car and a TPI. This one is a Gas Gas EC300, although it has no lights, it's an enduro bike. TPI uh, from 2022. So the latest TPI model uh, you can get. It will be around 110 kilometers, so it's pretty much a, a full tank. The track is super, super fun, super varied. It has a bit of everything. Sorry, me doing some testing. <laughs> so that's the plan. Let's get going, shall we? See you in a bit. Ai Jesus, que não gostas de fazer como estão. Qualquer gajo que tenha as suas sas a escutar, vem falar comigo. Não é para me gabar do meu trabalho, mas as suas estão um mimo. Não os gostam. E mantém aquela beleza de desempenho que estas têm quando são pedras e, e trilhos. Por isso, não sei, é só dicas para quem quiser. I remember telling you on the last video that I had to check what I found about the increase in power with the smart carb and this track was really good because there are some flat out bits like this one and some technical tracks and corners and single tracks so it was really good to test out all the benefits power wise in the power band uh, of the smart carb and what I found the most was not specifically the top end power because like I said on a previous video this bike already has too much power more power than I know what to do with it and I 
I'm sure that most people will share the same thoughts. But what I found that this carb allowed me to do was ride in fifth gear more time. Like usually with a with a carb, I couldn't ride very often with fifth gear. Fifth gear would, would usually be a gear where I would go flat out on the top end power just to go maximum speed. But it wouldn't allow me usually to get me on this on these rolling uh, tracks so easily. The bike has the hump, has the power, has the torque, has the bottom end to exit the corners with power and still be enjoyable. I think that's the biggest take I have on the smart carb regarding mid and top end power. Regarding tuning, this is an aspect that I would like to share with you guys just for you to have at least one more feedback or one more experience to uh, compare. And straight off the bat, I can tell you that Smart Carbs customer support is second to none. They're, they do a great job, they are really patient, and it's impossible not to get your carb tuned with such a good customer support. That being said, there's one thing that you can also expect, which is don't expect it to be install it in the bike and the car will be running perfectly. Uh, it won't for two reasons. First, you'll have to have a break in time. So you'll have to give some time for the carb, for all the moving parts of the carb to settle. So the first few hours, first hour, okay, it won't be running perfectly. Second off is that although they come pre-tuned for you, it's just a reference value of tuning because it, vary, it can vary a lot from bike to bike and from country to country depending on what kind of fuel you run. I was expecting to have the carb tuned within 10 clicks, 15, maybe 20, and it took me 50 clicks of adjustments to really find the sweet spot of the, of the smart car. But honestly, that's not really a problem because besides the great customer support to make sure that you have the car dialed, their documentation and their instruction sheet is one of the best that I've seen so far in the industry. Uh, I would really love, for example, for some dirt bike manufacturers to have such a good instruction sheets or uh, user guides or user manuals as good as smart carbs so it's really hard not to end up with a carb dialed but yeah uh, it, there's a process and you have to go with it so trust it uh, my legs are starting to burn Mas também pode aproveitar uma vista. Mas tá bom.
My back end just kicked me in the butt. But like so fucking good. <laughs> that was a lucky. I wasn't expecting that. That was lucky. I could have capsized so easily. Great. <laughs> Guys, we just arrived to the gas station and uh, <laughs> actually at the end on the last I don't know maybe two three kilometers we were both like really dry on the on the gas tanks but and if you take a closer look like mine still has this bit of of gas and the TPI is like rock bottom let's see but it's it's promising <laughs> so let's see how much the TPI did Completely to the top. Eight liters. Okay. Let's see how much the beta did. The gas gas tank was, I think, eight liters big, and the beta, if I'm not mistaken, is nine and a half. The TPI did around 7.3 liters to 100 kilometers and the Vita with the, the smart carb did 8 liters flat. And to be honest, I'm sold with a smart carb. For me, in my opinion, uh, I like a dirt bike, a dirt bike to be as simple as analog and as mechanically simple as possible. And the argument that you have of the TPIs have better mileage or the TPIs have a better power delivery, it all comes to the ground with a smart car. The power delivery is really mellow, really smooth, really predictable, really linear. The bottom end of this bike with a smart car is unbelievable. And if we think about it, the mileage argument comes completely to the ground because with the, the bigger tanks on these bikes, on these carved bikes and a smart car, you can actually have a bigger range compared to the TPIs. 
because again, uh, the TPI arrived to the gas station to where we took off with tiny, tiny bit. And this one still had some gasoline. And so, if you're really interested in, in keeping your bike as mechanical and analog as possible, go ahead, it's really worth it. In that aspect, this is a complete game changer. In terms of what they claim uh, and what you have, it's solid. So yeah, hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and anything, leave on a comment below. Cheers.